Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Yiddish video. So Yiddish is a melting pot language, more than other languages. As Jews were spread over Europe, they kept integrating words from their new home countries into their language. Soon Latin, Slavic, and Hungarian words made their way into everyday Yiddish. And today, it is the Slavic words that I will be focusing on, since there were countless Jewish communities in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Poland, Czechoslovakia. There are many words from that region integrated into Yiddish. I only began noticing it when I took it upon myself to learn Czech. As I dabbled in the vocabulary, I was surprised by how many words I already knew. This realization only made me more curious and I began researching what other words from Slavic languages have I been using daily as well. It turns out, many. And today, I'll be sharing them with you. So buckle up and get ready to learn 30 Yiddish words you didn't know were Slavic words. Here we go! Rozinka. Rozinka. This Czech word means raisin. In Czech, it's pronounced Rozinka. Murishka. Murishka. This word means an ant and comes from Belarusian. Murishka. Kachka. Kachka. A duck. This is a Slovak word. Kachika. Tata. Tata. Dad. This has roots in several Slavic languages. Czech, Polish, Bulgarian. Tata. Tata. Pasik. Pasik. A belt. This is also a Czech word. Pasek. Vanna. Vanna. A bathtub. This is a Czech word. Vanna. This next one is found in almost all Slavic languages and it is an exclamation. Foy. Foy. Meaning ew. Kuchkele. Kuchkele. This is a term of endearment used for little children or used to describe children and it literally translates to a little cat. It comes from the word kuchka, which is the word for cat in several Slavic languages like Russian and Czech. It has the ending l, which is a diminutive ending in lower German. So basically it just makes the cat smaller and cuter. So kuchka, kuchka l cute little kitten. On the topic of diminutive endings, we've got adding chka to a word. You can basically add this to anything to make it smaller and cuter. For example, my name is Mati, but when I was little, my parents called me Machka, Shmata, Shmata, a rag. This is a Polish word. Shmata, Pupik. Kupik, a belly button. This comes from Polish and Czech. Kupik. Probably one that surprised me the most. Taka. Taka. This comes from the Slavic word tak, which is used in Czech, Bulgarian, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and it means so or just so, or it's just a form of agreement when someone's talking to you. Taka, taka. Igirka, igirka. A cucumber. Two possible roots. Either the Polish word, ogurek, or the Czech word, okurka. Jaszczyrka, jaszczyrka. A lizard. This comes from Czech. Jaszczyrka, czerpacha, czerpacha. A turtle. This comes from Russian. Cherepacha. Baba. Baba. Grandmother. This comes from an array of different Slavic languages. Zaida. Zaida. 
grandfather. This either comes from Belarusian or Polish. Ziad or Dziadek. Kishka. Kishka. Intestine. This comes from Russian, Polish, and Ukrainian. Kishka. Lokshun. Lokshun. Noodles. This time it's from Russian, Belarusian, and Ukrainian. Loksha. Lokshina. Lokshina. Pastuch. Pastuch. A shepherd. This comes from Russian. Pastuch. Malfa. Malfa. A monkey. This comes from Belarusian. Malfa. Nebuch. Nebuch. This comes from the Czech word nebohi. And it means an unfortunate or sad person. Blonde. Blonde. To wander aimlessly when lost. It comes from this Polish word, which I won't even try to pronounce, meaning to stray. Chinik. Chinik. A teapot. This comes from Russian. Chinik. Drimmel. Drimmel. To nap. It comes from this Polish word, which I also can't pronounce. Chachka. Chachka. A trinket. This has Polish and Ukrainian roots. Chachko. Chachka. Krechma. Krechma. A pub. This comes from Slovak. Krchma. Pleitze. Pleitze. Shoulder. This comes from the Polish Plece. But Yiddish, of course, also has the Swedish word for shoulder, Axel. Kuchma. Kuchma. A furry winter hat. This comes from Ukrainian. Kuchma. And at number 30, we've got Pripachik. Pripachik. In Yiddish, this means a hearth. And there are several possible sources from where this comes from. Some say it comes from the Polish word piets, also meaning a hearth. But in Belarusian, Ukrainian, and Russian, there's the word pripichuk, but it means a baked good or toast. I still see the connection though, and it seems like it's more likely that that's the root. That's it for today, Yiddish speakers. How many of these words are used in your dialect? Slavic language speakers, how many words from your language were you surprised made this list? Let me know in the comments. Tak for the dog, Tschüss and Auf Wiedersehen!